Inspector Misha at your service. Dancing queen, everything about me's not sexy. Cinch it. Nip to the wind. Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Hall Sunday. Hello and welcome. So it will be no surprise that it is a pretty little thing haul coming up your way. I'm actually going to be testing out the new Ashley Graham collection. We all know who Ashley Graham is. A very, 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 very sassy girl boss. So, you know, I thought we're going to have to just test it out, see how it looks, the colours, the fabric, the quality, the whole shebang. I'm very excited. I am, of course, partnering with Pretty Little Thing on this video, which means that there will be a Pretty Little Thing vouchers giveaway like there always is because sharing is caring. So stay tuned to the end to find out how to enter, but I will pop the last two winners of the giveaway on the screen here. So congrats to those people and let's get a wiggle on this is my first video i'm filming since my birthday i've literally just got back from manchester you can probably hear in my throat that i've just got back um yeah you're gonna have to stay tuned uh, for tuesday for my 20th birthday vlog i nearly said 19th i am 20 now what the hell i need to stop screeching because my throat is going to pass out but yes I had a lot of fun. I'm kind of dealing with a two day hangover right now, but we are going to power on through and I'm going to serve you up a brand new Super Bowl Sunday. So let's begin. Now, I think, again, this is quite a small bag for me. Go me. Congrats. Um, and I am currently wearing my pretty little thing robe because we're all friends here and it's totally okay for me to chill in my robe because. I'm going to try on the pieces as I go anyway, so there's not really any point you putting on an outfit to then take it off. So, first item. Ooh, we've got a lilac moment. Okie dokie. So, the first thing I saw in the collection that I thought I needed, had to get, was a lilac co-ward suit. Now, Misha loves lilac. Misha loves co-wards. Misha loves suit co-wards. So I literally couldn't have thought of anything more me. Um, so this is the jacket. Now I think it was described as an oversized blazer. It doesn't look that oversized. I suppose I haven't tried it on yet. But that shade of lilac is beautiful. It perfectly matches my like pastel-y, multicolored -y lilac finger nail. Um, and oh my god, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, loving the like double triple button situation I love a good button I think it makes it look very expensive then I've got the trousers now these I also got in a six and I'm not sure what the shape of them is are they oh okay they're like a oh they're quite short they're more like culottes than trousers I would say what do they oh they are culottes well done misha so yeah these are just the high-waisted little numbers they flare out quite a bit i think all that's left to do is pop them on so oh also this range comes in so many sizes i'm pretty sure it went from size 6 to a size 28 so i think that's pretty darn impressive go plt Ta -da! okay so i've got the little co-ward on i do actually think that i would probably put this blazer with like a belt to cinch it in because it is actually quite oversized i take back what i said but also you could obviously undo it and wear like a top underneath um, or, you know, you could do, like, the no-top look. I do feel like that is very on fashion nowadays, and it does look quite cool. Practical, maybe not, because that is the epitome of nip to the wind. But I think with, like, a little top. Then the trousers. Let's try and show you the length, but we know I struggle with this. I'm going to actually do this up so that I don't accidentally flash a booby. So, here is the length. It is like a just below the calf, or is it on the calf? 
I'm not sure. Apparently, we're talking cows right now. So, yeah, it is quite like a jazzy length, and they do flare out quite a bit. It makes it a little bit more unique, I would say. But I think if you popped some, like, heels with this, like little black booties and a black belt, I do think this could be a vibe. I'm also thinking this blazer with just, like, a white T-shirt and a pair of jeans could look really, really cute because we know I love a blazer moment. So, yeah. Maybe not going to go out like this. Maybe I will. Who knows? This is, of course, another co-ord. So, this is a little mid-daxi skirt. Or would you say this a mid... Maybe a midi skirt. I'll go with midi. I was right. Um, so, it's just in this, like, nudie, camely colour. And then it's got these black ribbons, like, string laces that you'd have on trainers. Now, it came originally, like, non-cinched. And then, obviously, depending on how much you want to get out, you can cinch it. Let's check on that bad boy. So you could actually theoretically make this a mini skirt or a midi skirt. You could do whichever you fancied. Um, but we know I'm a real big fan of these sort of skirts. And also, I feel like the rouging will like be very flattering on the body. Then this is the little matching crop top. Of course, you can buy these separately, so you can get whichever size you think is going to fit you better. Um, and it's just got these like little ruched detailings along the bodice, which I think for me, with like a flat chest situation will actually make like I have a little bit more boobage which I'm not complaining also loving how the straps are these really long strings because a I think it will look really cool with like having the bows on the shoulders but also depending on how tight you want it because am I the only person that hates when you can't change the like length of it because then it just hangs anyway I'm gonna pop this on and I'll be back in three two one da -da! Okay, so I know I haven't tried everything on yet, but I have a feeling this is going to be my favourite. Okay, so here is the cohort. Now, I've like pulled it so that this bit's like coming down a little bit. I think for me, I think that suits my shape more because it gives me more of a little waist. But obviously you don't have to do that. This is what it all looks like. The only problem when I do that is it does then nip on that side. So maybe I should just wear it normally. But, you know, YOLO, you do you. Um, I've made it reasonably shorter. It's above the knee now. But I just think this colour looks so nice. I love this little top. Can we see? I was right about it. It gives me a little bit more voluminosity in the breasticle area. Love the colour. Love the little ropey string details. I am a huge fan of this. I think this would look so, so nice. A, either with like trainers and a blazer to like make it a bit more casual, or with heels to make it a little bit more sexy. Everything about me's not sexy, but I can pretend it is. And look at that. I've got smooth armpits, even though they might be a little bit patchy from the lack of fake tan. Oh, and the fake tan I'm wearing right now is Loving Tan Ultra Dark 6 Hour. I'm a fan. It never goes on. Whenever I tan, though, am I the only person that I never get any fake tan on my chest? It always doesn't tan my chest. No matter what tan I use, I don't know why. Okay, boys and girls, we have got a long, silky number. I have so many of these, like, silky dresses from PLT that we whack out every, like, spring, summertime because they're just, like, the perfect go-to dress that looks really expensive when it's not. But let's now wriggle my body out of this little cord. Okay, I'm, I might be stuck in it. I think I've done the knot a bit too tight on the skirt. This could be a problem. No one's in... I did it. Imagine, no one's in the house. And me's just stuck in a midi skirt for the whole weekend. Here it is. Now, I'm liking with this one. So, on the one shoulder, it's got like a cowl neck. And then on the other side, it's got this little silver hoop. Which I think makes it look very nice, funky, original design. Now, let's... Whack off my crop top and I'll be back. Hello, loving on these details. How majusery and expensive does that little detail look? So there's the little hoop. Then it has this one shoulder detail going on. Then here is the actual dress itself. I do think that these dresses aren't necessarily the most forgiving if you have a little bit of bloat because I do think that you can quite easily see it but YOLO, who actually cares? Um, and then it's got this 
beautiful leg slit going on. I think this would be the most perfect bridesmaids dress. If you're looking for bridesmaids dresses on a budget, I think this would be a vibe. Especially if you were getting married in like some warm tropical country. I think it would look seek. But no, absolutely beautiful. I love the colour. I think it's such a nice original colour. Uh, but yeah, really good and silky. I just think these are good to have in your wardrobe because you never know when you might need them. And I actually picked up some accessories. So these earrings, I mean, they actually do kind of go because they have the same like purpley shade. But should I just pop one in so we can see? We know I love a good dramatic earring. I know they're not the most subtle, but I'm not subtle in case you didn't know. Oh my God, I love those. Hello, okay. Hello, look at this little jazzy number. Looks very cute. Obviously like flick back the hair, get out my little jazzy cross. Um, no, I'm a big fan. Those are absolutely beautiful. And obviously you don't have to just wear them with the Ashley Graham collection. You can wear them with absolutely anything. Now let's go for a more cutesy number. So I picked up this. Now I know a lot of people this will not be their style, but I think it's very adorable. This is a midi dress that's got like a sweetheart, is that a sweetheart neckline? Or is that like a triangle neckline? I'd call this a triangle neckline. Um, and again, it's got the ties that you tie yourself, which which looks cute and is more practical. And it's just this little lacy number. Okay, so this is adorable. And actually kind of makes my boobs look very nice. Oh, I love this. So I'm gonna have to pull it up a little bit so you can see the length, but it is quite long, but I feel like a little princess. This is so cute. And I love how there is such a wide variety of like different styles in the collection because this is all like cutesy but then that little keyword keyword was quite sexy so this helps because you know me i change my mind on what i want to wear every day but no I absolutely love this neckline i could tie these higher if i wanted to i could tie them lower if i wanted to that really really helps i think it's really flattering cut the little lacy details just imagine this with like some pastel pink accessories in the sunshine. I'm also getting very much like Dolce & Gabbana vibes. Um, but no, this is adorable. I'm a fan. It's a win from me. Now, continuing on the white spectrum, I did actually pick up this. Now, when I hold it up, I feel like it looks like a space suit. But this is apparently a jumpsuit that's got like shoulder pads in the shoulders. Well, well done Misha, where else would they be? Um, and then it's got like a collar, like a shirt. Then it has this weird ruffle bit. Then it's got pant legs and a belt. So it kind of sounds like a really weird mashup, but I'm hoping that it's gonna look cute. But I suppose we will all find out together in the next clip. So stay tuned. Hello. So I can already tell that this is going to be so mum's kind of thing, but I don't know if you can see all the details because it's white. It does all kind of blend in on camera, but we've got the shoulder pads here. Then we've got the collar. You can obviously open this up or close it as much as you want. Then I've popped the belt on. You can probably see the loops there. Um, there's the belt. Then it has this little like floofy bit that's kind of like a peplum and then it has the trouser suit which has a really really nice flare on the bottom of the leg i'm a big fan of these trousers um so yeah this is the little number i do think it looks very cool very like spacey vibes i'm feeling quite abba like dancing queen feel the beat oh my favorite song ever i need to stop singing that but I also need to save my throat because I already sound horrendous. But no, this is cool. I'm liking it. I know they also had this in red as well, um, which I do think would look very nice. But I am a big fan of white. I think white looks very expensive. And speaking of like neutral tones, a lot of the collection is quite neutral toned, obviously apart from like the lilac and the red. But there was also this little number, which looks like a little dark chocolate delight. So it's this beautiful like chestnut brown, high neck, we know I love a good high neck, 
ruffled number. I'm digging all these ruffles that they're using because it's giving the pieces such a nice shape on the body. I actually kind of sound like I know what I'm talking about when I said that. Then it does have like, it's not like a leg slip, but because it's got the ruffles, it's like shorter on one side than the other. Um, so shall we also try on this little number? And then I think we're down to the last item after this one. Sad times, I'm like I'm liking it all. Hello, hi, okay. So I think I was quite accurate when I said that this shape would be quite flattering. I am digging the shape of this. I think it looks so, so nice. I'm loving these little details down the side. Then we can see all like the strapping. It's got this little roll here. I love the color as well. I've never thought to wear this color brown. I'm actually really, really a fan. I like how baggy it is on the chest. So it actually kind of makes me look like I've got boobs, which never happens. Um, but yeah. Oh my god, I'm actually really, really a fan. I think this dress shape would flatter so many different figures. Because it kind of makes me look like I've got like a waist. Um, I should probably shimmy that bit down a little bit. But no. I also think this is very flattering for the thigh. I do genuinely think that this collection has, the shape has been thought about, if you know what I mean? So that like it suits lots of figures. This bad boy, now this is a very, very interesting piece. I don't know if I'm gonna look horrific in it. Kind of gives me like Inspector Doolittle vibes. So it's this like white chiffony patterned shirt with these tortoise shell buttons. And then it's got the little utility style mini skirt and the belt. So, I've absolutely no clue what this is going to look like, but in my head, it looks amazing. So, let's hope it works out that way as well. We shall see. Inspector Misha, at your service. Hello! Oh my god, this dress is so cool. I actually think I might undo another one of the buttons, you know me. I like everything to be low cut. So, okay, first off, I need them to bring out a shirt, just a shirt in this like fabric pattern, everything. I'm loving it. I think it looks so, so cool and like safari-esque. I feel like I'm in South Africa on a safari. And then here is the little skirt number. It's in a nice stretchy fabric. I'm loving the nude with the white and then the brown buttons. And yeah, this is a vibe i literally feel like if someone had a fancy dress party i could wear this and say i'm a safari person is that acceptable definitely don't have any fancy dress parties to go to nor will i actually be going out partying for a very long time post my birthday i'm like mm, that's enough alcohol in my system for maybe a year or two but anyway so yeah loving on this little number I think it looks really really cool and it's something a bit more unique we know i love a good a good unique piece another pair of earrings now let's rip these bad boys open look at these bad boys are they not beautiful again very subtle and demure earrings totally not and they're quite rattly not gonna lie but that's probably because they're hitting into each other yeah, it is. But no, these are beautiful. I would not necessarily wear them with this outfit, but still, I'll wear them with lots of other things. So, let's wrap up this PLT X Ashley Graham haul. Okay, so those are all the pieces that I picked out from the Ashley Graham PLT collection. There are loads of more different pieces, but those are just the ones that caught my eye. And yeah, you need to let me know down below which is your favourite, but of course... We want the um, giveaway details of the voucher. So to enter the giveaway for two fifty pound vouchers for you and your friend or your mum or your dad or your brother or your sister or your cousin, all you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment down below, letting me know your favourite piece from this haul. Then head on over to my Instagram, give me and Pretty Little Thing a follow. Then check out my latest picture, give it a like, and comment tagging your bestie or your brother or your sister or whoever you would share the two vouchers with. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this Super Haul Sunday, and of course, I shall see you in the next one, but I'll also see you on Tuesday and Thursday for my other videos oh and side note um my what i got for my birthday will be coming it just might be a bit late so i was about it
<laughs> love you guys lots and i will see you all in the next one give this video a like subscribe and enter the giveaway bye guys oh and i'll link everything down below bye Mwah.